hello, this is Professor M. M. Pant, and I'm speaking to these million viewers on Edu TV. Uh, this is a very interesting time because it is the end of the last year and it's the beginning of the new year that we are looking at. It's not only the beginning of a new year, it is the beginning of a new era. And we may not realize it because we are living through it, but this will be recorded as a time in history when something very, very fundamental happened. And you've all seen that in last year, we saw chat GPT actually shaking the entire world. So much so that by the end of the year, Google laid off number of employees because of the chat GPT. And this will get followed up in other parts of the work sphere itself. What is coming up is artificial intelligence on steroids, something which is called artificial general intelligence. I've been in the field for more than 50 years or so when this all big developed. There was a time when we would talk about the Turing test as something which would test whether something is really artificially intelligent. And the great test, the Turing test was that if you interacted with a computer, you interacted with something and you couldn't make out whether you were interacting with a computer or a human being, that would have been called passing the Turing test. Last year, very unceremoniously, the Turing test was passed and we were all debating whether chat GPT output should be trusted or not. But nobody had a doubt that it could be comparable to any human output. And this is what is very, very interesting. Something for 50, 60 years was thought something completely unlikely, impossible is now a routine thing. And we are kind of saying, how do we really distinguish between a real human and an artificial intelligence? What is more important is that within the next five years, five years only, we are going to have artificial general intelligence. And you can Google for it. You can ask ChatGPT for it. Uh, artificial general intelligence is something which was thought as impossible or not likely in a lifetime or in 100 years. But now people like Ray Kurzweil and Elon Musk are all saying this will happen within the next five years. A link to that is given below this video, and you can see that link and how it is going to affect things. The point I'm trying to make is that New Year is full of excitement. You will be able to do things which no other human being has done before. And you don't have to be worried about learning about how to do it. You will have all kinds of tools which will help you do it. You'll only have to think, imagine, be creative, or what else can you do? And how can you do something which no other human being has done before. This is what the new age is all about. And that's why it is not just a happy new year, it is a completely new era. Just like at some point of time, electricity created a new era, electronics created a new era, computers created a new era, space mission satellites created a new era. We are on the verge of a new era in which you will not be a passive observer, but you will also be the creator. So my best wishes for a happy 2024, and times beyond that as well. All the best. EDU TV with 1 million eyeballs across the globe. Connecting schools, universities, industries, and corporate houses.